going to argue for the legalization of drugs, the legalization of all drugs for any purpose. I'm not advocating a moderate approach to drug legalization. I think the war on drugs should be stopped and all anti-drug laws abolished. Before I go on, I want to stress that I'm morally opposed to the recreational use of drugs. I do not take drugs. I do not think that other people should take drugs. I think the people who produce and supply drugs are scum, and that anyone who takes drugs is a bloody idiot. I, I do not support I do not support the legalization of drugs because I care about drugs. I could not care less about drugs. What I care about is a certain moral political principle. I shall explain this principle in a moment, but first I want to explain why I'm morally opposed to the recreational use of drugs. Reason is a human tool of survival. Drugs adversely affect a person's capacity to reason. When a person abuses drugs, he or she is sabotaging his or her tool of survival. A human being abusing drugs is like a bird crushing its own wings or a fish mutilating its own fins. There are certain health risks inherent in the abuse of drugs. Drug abusers risk fat veins, liver infection, seizures, strokes. However, these are not the worst of uh, the drug abuser's problems. Drug abuse adversely affects every aspect of the drug abuser's life. In sabotaging his or her tool of survival, the drug abuser is sabotaging his or her capacity to manage his or her life. It gets worse. If you've ever known someone who abuses drugs, you might have thought to yourself, the person that I once, not, once knew has been replaced by someone else. We all have a species identity. That which makes us a human being, as opposed to, for example, a cat or a dog. We also have a personal identity. That which makes us, us. That which makes me, Robert White, as opposed to, for example, Chris Lingle. Drug abuse effaces a person's personal identity. A drug abuser is wiping his or her self from existence. Some opponents of drug legalization assert that drug abusers are being selfish. The exact opposite is the case. They are being selfless, literally selfless. They are euthanizing themselves. Some defenders of drug legalization allege that drug abuse is indigenous <coughs> crime. I could not disagree more. There are victims, genuine victims. Drug abuse does not violate the rights of others but it does harm others in numerous ways. Imagine being a son, uh, imagine being a, a mother or a father watching the son or daughter you once knew being replaced by a dishonest, paranoid, restless, manipulative, compulsive, forgetful, abusive scumbag. I am arguing the legalization of drugs. I'm saying that drug abuse should not be a criminal offence. I'm not defending, I'm not saying that we should tolerate the abuse of drugs. On the contrary, I do not think that we should tolerate the abuse of drugs. I'm entitled to say that I do not want drugs in my home. The owner of the business, the private business, is entitled to say we do not employ drug abusers. AUBG is entitled to ban drugs from its premises to expel any student found in possession of drugs. I'm morally opposed to the use of drugs. I think we should refuse to tolerate the abuse of drugs. Therefore, why do I support the legalization of drugs? The moral political issue is this. Who owns your life? Does your life belong to you? Or does your life belong to the state? My answer is, my life belongs to me. I am a sovereign entity. To put the point in somewhat poetical terms, I am the author of my own life, the captain of my soul. 
are the master of my fate. As a sovereign entity, I get to decide what I put into my body. And that is why I support the legalization of drugs. Politicians do not get to make that choice for me. When we concede to politicians the right to decide what we can and cannot ingest, we concede the principle of self-ownership. Self-ownership is not a free for all. Self-ownership frees us from politicians. It does not free us from the law of cause and effect. With freedom comes responsibility. We are free to live our lives as we judge best. We are also free to live the consequences of our choices, for better or for worse. A person who is free to abuse drugs is also free to lose his job, to lose his house, to lose his wife, to lose custody of his children. We should be opposed to the abuse of drugs. However, we do not discourage drug abuse by treating adults as though they were perpetual children who need to be watched over by benevolent politicians. We discourage drug abuse by treating adults as adults and holding them accountable for the consequences of their bad choices. Drug abuse is a problem. However, it is a problem that should be kept private between the drug abuser and his or her doctor. It is none of the government's concern. If a politician were to be asked, what are you doing about the drug problem, then his or her response should be, as a politician, it's none of my business. Thank you.